Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all continuing to stay healthy and safe and well. Today's video is an unboxing. If you watched my last video, then you know I had ordered a bag, a Jacques Mousse bag from Louisa, Louisa Via Roma, and it was a huge fail because the strap was missing and there was also some creasing on the bag and um, quite a few of you had mentioned that you had the bag or you had looked into the bag and there was also creasing in the same spot so that would bother me 100% so I ended up shipping it back and I got another bag this one was not on my wish list this one I didn't even know existed until about a week ago when I first saw it and I thought oh my god I need this bag because it's perfect and it's still relatively okay when I say it's relatively affordable I mean for an all leather bag from a luxury fashion house it's by no means an affordable handbag um, you could go to Zara H&M Winners wherever Marshalls and get an affordable handbag and it'll be perfect but this one is let me just show you let me just show you the bag so I ended up ordering from Louisa via Roma again even though the customer service was like a little bit spotty the first time but they didn't have this on mattress fashion which is my go-to and they had it on my Teresa but it was actually more expensive on my Teresa so I was like okay do I bite the bullet and just go with Louisa via Roma again and hope for the best because so many people have good reviews on the site so second chance for them I just picked it up right now so here is the box let's open this up I'm really really excited to show you now when I was ordering this handbag there were no reviews on the website or sorry no reviews on YouTube at all because obviously if I'm investing um, in the handbag I usually like to look at reviews first and to see what people have said about you know a particular bag but there were none I think this is relatively new on the Bottega site um, it is listed and I think it's like for the fall winter so this brand has become super popular over the last couple of years and I've always been intrigued but I haven't really seen anything that I really love from it they have really um, popular handbags that you see influencers with everywhere but they haven't really been my style so this one I hope is my style so it is by Bottega Veneta <gasps> I'm really excited for this but I'm also scared just because of what happened last time small bag shocking this color is shocking like I wear all black all my bags are neutral I don't have a single colored bag in my wardrobe and then out of every single color so this is brand new this is called the mini loop bag and that's what it says it's called oh this has like a weird little my last handbag didn't come with like this weird thing I don't think it came with like a different thing but that's just so if you return it or in order to return it that has to be there so all the mini loop it is fairly new on the Bottega website it um, even says it's coming soon I when I ordered this off Louisa via Roma I swear the I was looking on all the different sites and I saw it on my Teresa and then I saw it pop up on Louisa via Roma and right after I ordered it it said out of stock so I don't know how many of these bags they actually got in but like I said on the Bottega site it says it's coming soon um, because I think this is fall and winter they do currently have this in black and like this really nice sort of plummy burgundy type of shade as well and those are available but this actual color here which is called parakeet which is like I feel like is the Bottega green it's kind of getting blown out a little bit but this is like yeah it's getting blown out a little bit like when I'm looking at it here and then I'm looking at it there it's a little bit bright so hopefully in the modeling pictures when I show you later um, you'll be able to see like the real color of it but it's basically like this handbag I don't think these are adjustable it has these knots here so it has the double strap which I really like because on the sorry I have like my cat just went by and now there's cat hair everywhere when I had originally started looking at some of the mini bags that Bottega had I mean so many people had the pouch bag like the mini pouch and or the small pouch I don't know whatever it's called but um, 
it looked a little bit small, a little bit harder to sort of open up and sort of keep open um, with the pouch. And then I also didn't like that it only had the, the one sort of strap, um, whereas this one has the two straps. I also like this one because it has gold hardware here, which I think most of um, Bottega, like the newer styles use gold hardware. I know that some, um, I saw someone on YouTube that had this parakeet kind of green color, but it was a silver hardware and she mentioned it was like an older model. Um, but I did also like that this had a zipper, which I don't think the, um, the mini like pouch doesn't have a zipper, right? Like the closure for it. So I kind of like the added security of this. And then, so this is it right here. It's just plain and basic. The leather is beautiful and supple. This kind of braiding, I believe is called intrasitiato or intrasiato. I don't know how to pronounce it because I'm not Italian, but um, I think that just refers to like how it's braided. So anything that has the braiding, like when I was looking on the Bottega website it was called that. So um, yeah, this is it. And I'll just show you a little bit of the close up. So uh, when I had originally looked at this bag, I full on took out my tape measure and I went to the current handbags that I had and I compared it and it was actually comparable to my Gucci Soho Disco. This one is a little bit smaller, which I kind of like the Gucci, um, the Soho Disco. I don't use it as much to be completely honest. It was one of my first handbags, but I did like the size of it. It can be a little bit roomy even for me because I barely carry anything. So this is a little bit smaller. The actual dimensions of the bag, maybe I can tell you it right now. It is um, 10 centimeters and then 17 centimeters across and then the depth of it is six centimeters. So it's a fairly decent sized handbag and the strap drop I also measured, um, it's 50 centimeters. <laughs> the whole strap drop, no, strap drop itself is 50 centimeters. So I knew that that would be also like a good length on me because I tend to wear my bags higher up. And I will show you like, look at the black, the black and the green, like, oh my God, I cannot wait to use this. Oh, it just opens up like this and it's just, I don't think there's any pockets or anything on the inside, but we will take a peek. It's stuffed pretty full right now. Um, there is, so I guess this is the Bottega um, care instructions probably. It's sealed, I'll have to open that up later. Um, I think there's also like that piece of leather that's in there. So if you wanna try and um, use a product and see if it will work on your bag, like cleaning it or a protector, then I think they always give you that little extra piece of leather. And then um, it does have one I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It does have one card slot in the back. The reason why I also chose this is because this handbag is lined. So I was looking at another one that was like a pouch version and it was not lined on the inside. So a couple little details about the handbag. Um, on the side here, you can kind of see how the strap loops in and then there's this cute sort of little knot here, which I think definitely adds something to the handbag too. Like even looking at it from the side view, you can sort of see these little knots right here, which I really like. And then you can see that there is another sort of knot there in the handbag. And that's why I was like, maybe I can make it a little bit shorter, but I don't think that I can just looking at it. Um, unless, ooh, unless I pulled this part through and then made the knot go up a little bit higher. That's one of the ways I could shorten the um, handbag a little bit, like the strap drop. But um, I really like these details, like I said, on the side of the bag. They add a little bit something kind of extra to the handbag as opposed to just being sort of like a plain strap. Um, so I think you can adjust it. It might take a little bit of fiddling, but just note that it doesn't have like an actual sort of adjustable strap with, um, I have my Gucci here like with like the buckle and stuff like that. So that's one of the things, but I really like the details. I really like the gold hardware on the handbag and as well, it has just that signature kind of triangle right there that Bottega um, often does. So you can see on the zipper pull right there, nothing, no branding, very sort of nondescript. I like it, but I feel like if you know Bottega and you know this color green and you know it's like Bottega green, then 
you know what kind of handbag it is. So, so here is the handbag on me. As you can see, it is perfect. I am 5'5 five five and about 118, 120 pounds. So you can see what it looks like on me. It hits at a really good spot. Um, I typically wear my handbags fairly high up. So if even, I'm gonna see if these are adjustable and if I can bring it up a, like a little bit higher, but I threw it on with my Nike Daybreaks. I actually have two pairs of these um, Daybreaks and they both have neon green. So I think that's gonna be a perfect, but like it's so nice and light. I like the double straps because it's a little bit more secure. It's perfect. It's such a beautiful bag, especially if you wear like a lot of neutrals. Although I've seen people wear like full on green with this. So I'm just so excited. Um, price wise, I should tell you about this as well. So like I said, the reason why I bought this off Louisa V Aroma is because it was uh, the cheapest place. So I live in Canada. So with the conversions and everything, it came to $1,445 and then with Rakuten I saved an extra I think it was 45 so really this handbag came to 1400 for the price of this handbag being $1,400 Canadian I feel like that's pretty decent for an all leather ba bag um, compared to say the mini pouch uh, the Bottega mini pouch which so many people have and it is gorgeous I feel like it's a very different style this one is more casual I would say which suits me perfectly because I don't really dress up I feel like this would probably hold more or at least the same amount it does also have a zipper so it's not just the magnetic closure and it also um, has like a shorter strap drop because I did see that the strap drop on the mini pouch was fairly long and the mini pouch I believe is about $1,900 so it's $500 more than this one so if you're in the market for, uh, I guess, more of an affordable mini bag from Bottega, then I think that this is a really great option and it still has that very sort of classic um, type of the braiding. I think the braided mini pouch is even more, if I'm correct, I think it's more than 1900. It's like maybe in the, I might be like 2000 or in the 2000s for it. So I just feel like this is a good option. I was using my, puzzle bag yesterday so I'm going to show you sort of what fits in and we'll see it, um, if I can transfer everything from my puzzle bag into this new Bottega bag so I hear people yelling outside uh, this is my mini pochette so let's throw that in this might be a little bit trickier yeah so the mini pochette's a little bit trickier you have to sort of angle it in sideways there's a bunch of kids outside so it does fit in it just requires a little bit of finagling so there's my mini pochette inside and then let me get my wallet out so this is my um, coin card holder from Louis Vuitton that I use as my wallet so let's put this inside and that goes and then my car or my six key ring key my six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton and now it's getting like pretty full as you can kind of see and then my cell phone that's sort of the last thing I don't think there's anything else in here yeah there's just like receipts a whole bunch of receipts so and then here is my phone now this is already pretty tight I will say so I don't think I mean it slides in Okay, so it's in there, but it's a very snug fit. I think if I played a little bit of Tetris, I could probably get everything to fit, but I just don't want to sort of warp it and things like that. So um, to be honest, I would probably take out my mini pochette. Um, that just has like different lip glosses and things in there. So I could definitely just take out a couple of different things. So if I have my eye drops, my lipstick and then my lip balm. Um, I still have my card holder in there so I could now throw in um, those lip balms, this, my phone and my keys. Oh yeah, and so that's like way better. So um, I would say the only thing that doesn't fit in there nicely and neatly is my mini pochette. So there we go, closed up. You can see it holds its structure. It doesn't sort of 
say at the bottom like how some bags do like um, sometimes my Gucci one will get I mean albeit it's a little bit older and so it's mushier and softer and the leathers definitely softened up see when I see it like this I'm like oh it's such a beautiful bag I should use it more I really should um, this is I feel like this is a classic for Gucci now but it can kind of like warp a little on the bottom so that's what happens over time I'm sure that will probably happen with this the more I begin to use it and get softer right so that is everything that fits in this gorgeous handbag and that is a sort of my final review on this I'm so happy that I got this and I got this color like I said it seems to be sold out pretty much everywhere or just sort of like coming soon so if you can get your hands on this and you like this color go for it or like I said they have that beautiful plummy color and as well as well a classic black so you can't really go wrong but um, yeah that is it if you have any questions please leave them down below and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you subscribe if you like these kind of videos and I'll see you in my next one bye